Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about leftmost and rightmost derivations and ambiguous grammars. I believe we did discuss this when we were talking about theory of computation. So if you do know what leftmost, rightmost derivations are, what ambiguous grammars are, feel free to skip this video. So in the last video, we saw an example, which was uh, the following. We had if ID equally equals ID, then um, ID else ID. So uh, we formed a grammar uh, for us to be able to uh, come to this exact statement and uh, we formed a, uh, we formed a parse tree as well. So uh, the way a leftmost derivation works is that at every step we uh, replace um, the leftmost non-terminant. So if we were using the grammar that we discussed in the previous video, the way this derivation would go is something like this, starting with E, uh, we would have um, if E, um, then E, else E. And at this stage, we now have three non-terminals uh, in, uh, in our string, which is uh, this E right here, this E right here, and this E right here. So what the leftmost derivation says is that uh, we would replace this E first. So from here, we would go to something like if um, E equal equals E, then E else E. And uh, at this stage again, we have four non-terminals and uh, according to leftmost derivation, we would uh, replace this E right here. So uh, after we do all of this, the uh, derivation that we would get is called a leftmost derivation. So uh, at every step, we replace the leftmost non-terminal. And uh, very similar to this, we have the rightmost derivation, which is um, that at every stage, we would uh, replace the rightmost non-terminal with uh, using one of the production rules. So uh, this is about leftmost and rightmost derivations. So what causes ambiguities is uh, the existence of multiple parse trees. So uh, if for some string and some grammar, I can have um, multiple parse trees for a particular string, then that grammar is said to be ambiguous. Um, so consider the grammar, let's just say I have E goes to uh, E times E or E plus E or an identifier. So in this, let's just say that I have the string um, ID plus I, ID times ID. Now what I can do here according to the grammar is um, I could come up with different derivations and uh, I could construct these two pass trees. Uh, the first one would go something like this. So the first one would be E, um, E plus E. And um, I would change the leftmost E with an E times E and ID here. So this is one possible pass tree that I can construct. Another possible pass tree is the following. I could do uh, E goes to E times E first and uh, then change the left uh, E to something like E plus E and then uh, convert these E's to identifiers. So these are two different pass trees that I can construct for the, uh, for the same uh, string here, which means that the grammar that I have is ambiguous. Now, uh, one thing to note here is that uh, in the left tree that I have, um, because uh, the plus is closer to the root, it means that this part is going to be the ID times ID is going to be performed first and uh, the addition is going to be performed later. So uh, if I were to write this down, uh, it would be something like this. Uh, it would happen in the order ID plus um, ID times ID. Whereas uh, in the left one, what would happen is uh, the since the plus is closer to the root, 
uh, the addition would happen first so it would be id plus id uh, times id and uh, the left one is not something that uh, the right one is not something that we want um, in our case we always want to enforce that uh, the multiplication happens first so uh, there are different ways to handle ambiguities which we'll discuss in the next video but uh, i hope in this video you've understood what leftmost and rightmost derivations are and um, how uh, we can construct uh, two different or multiple different pass trees uh, the leftmost and rightmost derivations are the ones that we are interested in. Uh, of course, you could come up with um, other kinds of derivations as well. But uh, this is an example that we'll work with in the next video and we'll see how we can, uh, what are the different disambiguation techniques that we can use. So I hope you understood this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time.